Hi, we're at the Homestakes Gold Mine, and I want to show you some educational benefit for this particular place. There's over 100 square miles that this area covers, and it's considered one of the most richest 100 square miles in uh, the United States. So this was a mine that for literally over 120, like six years, produced over 41 million ounces of gold and 9 million ounces of silver. But mining stopped in 2001. And when you take a look at this, this is a strip mine, and there are subsurface shafts that go all the way down uh, below 8,000 feet subsurface. That's important because there's 370 miles of these tunnels. So in 2001, what do you do with the place once that you've ceased your mining operations? Well, the National Science Foundation, NSF, decided to look for a suitable location to study dark matter uh, in hopes of understanding more of what we might find in throughout the universe in terms of dark matter. And they were looking for the perfect place to do that, which turned out to be this particular site. So now the scientific research is happening subsurface in order to study radioactive decay called double beta material. Uh, and so it's just dark matter in short. And they have a deep underground gravity lab that uses two major tools called the Lux and Morana in order to study the radioactive decay uh, rates and the type of dark matter that exists underground. While this is an inactive mining site now, it's being one of the world's premier sites for this type of study, and there are numerous scientific projects happening below. I would point out that the environmental issues regarding a strip mine can be very challenging because once you dig a hole and you're finished, you typically have to fill it in if you're going to reclaim the land. And that is a very cost prohibitive and expensive process. But right now, this is being used for a very definitive purpose, and so that's not happening on this mine site. But you can see that these are very old rocks. They're actually Precambrian in age, and they have been heavily metamorphosed. So don't be fooled. If you were to get close up on these rocks, you might see what looks like pyrite, which is quote unquote fool's gold. But it's likely the real meal deal. It's likely gold. And there is gold and silver throughout these rocks. Once the mining stops, this process is a long endeavor to get it to be environmentally friendly. But right now, this place is still being used for a purpose, and we are grateful for the opportunity to see it. More to come. See you at the next stop. Bye.